Hi, my name is Kevin Backhouse. I'm a security researcher at SAML. As part of my regular work, I use Docker a lot. I really love the way that it enables me to make things completely reproducible. So I use it particularly when I'm writing exploits. I discovered recently, though, that I was doing something with Docker, which is actually quite dangerous. So this is a public service announcement, just in case other people out there are doing the same, have made the same mistake that I did. So there's a bunch of web pages out there that explain how to use Docker without sudo. So this is one example of them. And you can see that what they tell you to do is add your user to the Docker group. Um, now, if you check the official documentation, you'll see that they warn you that that's not a good idea. But I wasn't aware of that, and I was doing this for at least a year uh, without knowing the danger. So I'm going to show you very quickly how you can use this to get a root shell on the system. So I've got a program here that uh, tries to set UID to zero, so become root. And if it fails, then it prints out nice try. So let's go over here, compile that program and then see what it does. It says, nice try, it didn't work. Um, but if I, because I'm a member of the Docker group, that allows me to run Docker without uh, sudo access. And um, what I've done here is I've mounted the local directory into the Docker container. So now inside Docker, I can cd into that directory. And what I can now do is give this program the appropriate permission. So I'm going to um, make it owned by root, and then I'm going to give it the set UID bit like this. And so you can see now that it's a set UID program. So I can exit out of Docker, and if I run that program now, I have a root shell. So that was just a quick public service announcement. Um, don't make the mistake that I made uh, adding your user to the Docker group is not a great idea. Thanks.